Hello, my good friends, from week four. There's really only one thing that we can do during week four, and that is to carry on. And so that's what I want you to do, is just grab your bones and get online and get down to the YouTube, which is what you watch now. Then you come over to the overview page and speed that like Evelyn Wood PhD level class. And then you come over to the live classroom if you got the time for it, and you can talk to me. And by the way, you had to video chat with me at some point, so I knew that was gonna happen. Hey, uh, those discussions we have in the, uh, whenever you post a video in the, uh, um, what do you call it, like the create measures of dispersion that you're gonna create, a, whenever you do that, I want you to go in and comment on other people's videos, watch their videos and comment on them, two or three at least. And that way everybody's got a good lively discussion going and there is uh, good feedback happening for those individuals. They might have missed something. They might have misspoke on their dependent variable, independent variable. Anyway, we're doing the measures of dispersion this time around. So measures of dispersion, as you know, is a uh, elaboration on, if you will, a little accuracy check on these measures of centrality. So how accurate is the mean as a predictor? Well, the, the standard deviation will tell you that because it's a measure of dispersion. Anyway, go in, go into uh, what do you call uh, MindTap and do their little exercises and do those assignments over there. Uh, students, as a rule, generally like these things a lot. Then you, we got another research analysis due. I have a study guide for you. It's the same one that I posted before. You'll go in, you'll find an article in the research somewhere, and you'll do a theory null hypothesis type situation. You'll talk about the operationalization of the study and then you'll give us the statistical results as you would convey it to a non-criminal justice individual. Do the module eval for me, briefly glance at the PowerPoint if you can stand it, and then you're done for that week. So that's week four. So that means we're almost out of here. But we're not out of here till we do the Gary Moore, the exit music, if you will. That guy's amazing. Uh, he, in fact, I'm going to get him up some more for you this semester because he is a really, really good guitar player, and a great vocalist, and also one of those icons that faded away a little bit too fast. Anyway, you guys, I'll see you next week. Bye bye.